If you have an A4 device or below with iOS 5.1.1, you can use the latest version of Red Snow to jailbreak it untethered using the DFU method, the normal method that we, we're all used to when it comes to Red Snow. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. You can see I'm running iOS 5.1.1. This is an iPod Touch fourth generation. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and place the device into DFU mode right here. So just hold home and power for 10 seconds. Release the power button after 10 seconds and continue holding home for 10 additional seconds. And then it'll stay on this black screen. That is DFU mode, of course. And then we can head over to our Red Snow which is running on my Mac, and that way we can actually jailbreak it using the normal method. Now notice below, you see connected iPod Touch 4G, and it notes that it's in DFU mode. Notice, notice that. It doesn't, it has that DFU mode notification, so you know which mode you're in. If you click jailbreak, it'll go through the jailbreak, and then it'll allow you to choose a couple of options, install Cydia, use a, a, a custom um, bundle if you wanna do that, uh, et cetera. Now this method takes longer than the non-DFU method that is in implemented into the latest version of Red Snow, 0.9.12 beta 1. So why would you want to use this? What, what would be the purpose for using the uh, RAM disk version of the iOS 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak instead of the way that Absinthe uses it? You don't have to put it into DFU mode or anything like that. Well, there's one clear advantage. Well, let me just interrupt myself here. You can see I have install Cydia, just click next. It'll go through and reboot your device, etc. But there's one clear advantage to using this method, this DFU mode version for A4 devices if you have a compatible device. And that is, it works a lot better if you have a lot of media on your device. Uh, if, if, for iCloud syncing, it's been proven apparently to work better uh, using the RAM disk or the traditional DFU mode installation for the jailbreak. So if you have a lot of media on your device, you're not starting off with a clean from scratch uh, installation of iOS 5.1.1. You have tons of videos, movies, photos, and you have an A4 device because this doesn't work with A5 devices, then it's recommended that you choose the DFU method that we're using here. Clear as mud, right? Basically, use the non-DFU method for all instances, except in the case if you have uh, just like a ton of media on your device. If you don't fall into that category, then it's recommended that you just run Red Snow without placing your device in a DFU mode and clicking jailbreak. Uh, we have a video tutorial that shows you how to do that. I just posted it on iDownload blog, so I highly recommend you check it out, folks. Let me know what you think about this method of jailbreaking your device. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.